Guys, uh, people always ask me what is the most uh, prevalent uh, form of theft uh, that happens, uh, that that can happen to you as a tourist when you're traveling to uh, other countries. And um, from my experience, I say that um, what I do see all the time, uh, what I hear about all the time uh, in the Philippines. And in uh, other Asian countries uh, that have uh, lots of uh, motorbikes and um, bicycles on the street uh, is a form of theft called uh, the riding in tandem theft. As you can see in this example, uh, this girl is going to be the victim of the theft. Uh, the, uh, the motorcycle is going to ride, ride past her and uh, he's going to <clears throat> try to grab her purse. And uh, he's actually going to drag her down the street. Um, so it's... Uh, not only can you risk uh, losing your valuables, but uh, you can also uh, be uh, badly injured. As, uh, as what happened to this girl. Here's uh, another, another example. Uh, the rioting and tandem theft. Uh, this uh, young girl is going to be walking on the side of the street. And uh, they're gonna ride past her and try to grab her bag or her purse, and uh, they're gonna drag the, the, the girl with them. Uh, this is in the Philippines, obviously. And I see uh, these types of uh, of theft on the news uh, in the Philippines every day. Um, and uh, this is why I felt like. Um, this is something that sh you should be warned about. Um, and here is yet another example of the riding in tandem uh, theft. And uh, this one is from the United States. Uh, and of course you see this, uh, this old woman uh, waiting at the corner of the street and uh, the thief uh, is going to spot her, uh, spot her purse. He's going to grab her purse and uh, of course he's going to drag her drag on the ground with the purse uh these thieves uh, obviously they don't they don't give a shit about uh hurting people uh, so here's another example uh, you've got uh this uh family basically riding at this uh, mother uh with a uh, a child a, and uh and another passenger and uh, they were uh, riding on their uh, motorbike and uh, the thief uh, rode past them and uh, stole their purse uh, and destabilized them in the process so they, they, they all fell they fell and uh, I don't know if uh, the kids got injured or if uh, the woman got injured but uh, yeah that's Yet, uh, the purse was the target. So, here's an example uh, with a happy ending. <laughs> so, uh, you know, the thief, uh, the stole the purse. And, uh, like, the woman, uh, she fell on the street. Uh, but he was spotted by a taxi driver, and the taxi driver is going to run into him. <laughs> So uh, there's a happy ending to this uh, bad situation. So guys, I'm going to leave you with this. Uh, look, um, please be safe uh, when you travel to other countries. Uh, ladies, um, if you want my opinion, um, carrying a purse is not a good idea if you're uh, in, a, in a dangerous country. Uh, the thieves know that your valuables are in there, that your wallet is in there, that your cell phone is in there and all they have to do pretty much is, is grab your purse and make a run for it so uh, you should definitely keep your valuables on your person uh, and that uh, in a bag that's easy to steal like this that's just my uh, my two cents uh, and guys of course uh, these are gold chains <laughs> yeah you want i know you want to maybe impress the ladies but uh, you're also going to get a lot of attention from thieves and uh, of course it's just too it's just so easy to uh, grab your chain uh, and make a run for it so uh, it's not worth it 
So, uh, of course, be safe when you travel and uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one.